Hello and welcome to the session friends. My name is Yogesh. In session today we are going to discuss about CIS rel slash CentOS 6 benchmarking. Using Ansible playbook we are going to check and apply CIS operating system hardening recommendations. I'm sure as a build engineer you might be in a situation where you have to spend a lot of your time to check what are the security risks to your operating system, how you can fix those. But that process is very lengthy process and uh, I'm just sharing my personal experience. It takes a lot of time to prepare your initial SOE image. Once your SOE image is ready, then you can uh, deploy templates, you can deploy machines from that image. But frankly speaking, that's a pain uh, to prepare your initial SOE image. So big thanks to Major Hayden who written Ansible role to apply CIS recommendations. If you are not aware what is CIS security benchmarking, basically that's recommendation on operating system hardening. And these recommendations are result of discussion between hundreds of security professionals worldwide. So you are going to get something which is already discussed, tested and trusted within security professionals worldwide. And these recommendations are mostly used by organizations worldwide to secure their environment. That is not something like uh, which is uh, an open, mar open market which you can't trust. That's something you can trust and mo most of the government organizations are also using CIS security benchmarking. For this demo session we are going to use Ansible CIS role which is on uh, GitHub and this role is written by Major Hayden as I mentioned before and, uh, and that's acknowledgement to Major Hayden like for this great work. Friends if you are going to use uh, the CIS role uh, you are allowed to use that by Major Hayden but only thing if you are modifying it just make a note uh, that's a license thing. Uh, let me share screen where uh, it mentioned about license. Here uh, that's a GitHub site and on licensing if I scroll down this playbook is licensed so this is Apache license and this is a quick summary. So this license that allow you much freedom with the software including an explicit right to patent. State changes mean that you have to include a notice in each file you modified. So make sure uh, you follow this license terms. But you are open to use uh, this particular uh, GitHub uh, Ansible role. Okay, so let's begin technical session, friends. To begin with technical session, first uh, I'm going to take you through CIS RHEL 6 benchmark. So if you have checked this document before, I'm sure you have checked because uh, you guys are working uh, in enterprise like me. So here, these are the recommendations. And each recommendation is uh, divided into sections. Like this is for OS services, this is for update and patch advisory. Next section, let's say section number five, which is for logging and auditing. And uh, section number seven is for user environment. So let's uh, select one of the section. Let's select uh, install TCP repo, which is 4.5. So these are security recommendations. Okay. So perform if IPv6 is not to be used, it's recommended that it is to be disabled to reduce the attack service of system. So how to perform audit, how to remedy it. So that's a security benchmarking recommendation and how you can fix the things. And uh, similar, install TCP repo. Okay. What is the level? That's level one means uh, that's a bit critical. And uh, here is the description. Rationally, audit how you can check what is the TCP repo configuration. Then remediation how you can remedy it. And verify. So friends, uh, all these things means all the security document is covered with the Ansible role which uh, major hidden written. So I'm just going you to show a demo how you can use that role and uh, as I mentioned in my PDF uh, section presentation basically don't run this Ansible playbook on your 
protection system without checking guideline and discussing within your security team maybe your enterprise is having some different security standards or they got some additional or they got uh, some compromise kind of thing with the cis standards so just check with your security team and this tutorial is only for knowledge sharing purpose in case it is making any damage to your system i am not responsible that's your whole responsibility okay so let's begin friends uh, i'm just opening a party session here uh, this is my ansible management server from where i'm going to run this playbook and this is my client and uh, let me maximize my screen a little bit and this client is on centos 6 let me show you okay this is on uh, centos 6.8 Okay, to begin with, uh, first you need uh, to download Ansible role. Okay, one thing, uh, this Ansible server and this Ansible client, both are already configured. I'm using root user for passwordless communication uh, between uh, Ansible server and Ansible client. Okay, to download uh, the Git repo, basically what you have to do, I'm uh, just opening the page so I can explain you. This is a repo, this is the Ansible role. This is a role and uh, these are the files and uh, other YAML files. Here, because I have to download uh, the repo, one thing I can uh, just download it, but I'm going to clone it. Uh, so I'm going to copy to clipboard, which is the link to this one. Here, I'm going to use git, because that's a GitHub. I'm going to use git clone and uh, before that uh, let me change my path to ansible configuration directory okay so now git clone and path of git repo pressing enter here so my machine is already got uh, internet connectivity so it downloaded the data okay let me do ls minus l if you see this is a new one which just got copied and this is the role let me cd to this role here in this role it got its own host file because ansible.cfg is configured in such way it reads uh, its own host file so let me add entry of my client so here i'm going to create my own groups i'm going to name it as rel underscore centos underscore six And here, member of this group is 90.10.10.85, which is my Reddit machine, this one, to which on which I'm going to con check and configure the things. Let me show you IP. If you see, this is IP. Okay, let me save this file. Okay, so it's very simple. To run this role, uh, simply use Ansible Playbook. Then playbook name, then minus i hosts. Okay, if I press enter, it will start checking and fixing the things. But before that, I just want to show you. If you see uh, this uh, Ansible, sorry, if you see this CIS benchmarking PDF document that is divided into section, let me go to beginning. If you see there are nine sections and each section got its subsection so that's a very well written uh, ansible role it have detail of all the sections let me list the tags and they are tagged tagged mean uh, no need to run all the sections if you want to check for one particular section you can do that if you see it is starting from section uh, these are the levels basically Level mean uh, these are again tags, whether that's level one uh, recommendation or level two recommendation or risk. And these are the sections, section one, section 1.1 1 .1, and so on. If you see it is ending at 9.2.9. So it mean uh, it covers whole CIS security benchmarking recommendation. So that's very brilliantly uh, done work okay let's say you want to check only one section how you can check that let me run ansible playbook here you can uh, use minus t or you can put minus minus tags 
it means it will not run whole playbook but it will check for one particular section only so let me do one thing let me open now uh, one section and uh, we can see whether it is working properly or not let's check section 7.1 because that looks easy if you see in 7.1 it is checking set shadow password suit parameter and uh, that's level 1 and uh, this is the check and this is the fix okay let's run section 7.1.1 here where is 7.1.1 okay so we are going to run this particular thing pressing enter here it just finished uh, if you see I run section 7.1.1 and uh, it checked the things and it change the password expiration dates if you see this is a change thing it means it automatically does the work which I have to do manually and uh, you can imagine there are 400 page recommendation and this CIS playbook is going to fix everything for you in couple of uh, minutes but only thing uh, in case uh, there are some mount point thing which you have to do manually because uh, this script is not going to unmount your slash where but it will recommend you like unmount your var mount it with these particular options okay uh, one thing I want to tell you uh, let's say you want to run uh, your playbook with a couple of different tags how you can do that so here uh, same way let's say you want to run section 7 complete section 7 so section 7 enter again uh, don't think from where I got section 7 because that was a tag so it covers whole section 7 and now it is running 7.1.1 7.1.2 and uh, if you see uh, wherever it performed the changes it is showing change so it means it fixed everything for us friends okay let's say you want to run two different sections okay so to do that uh, simply you have to uh, put sections comma separated okay so how comma separated work let's say you want to run section 1 or let's say section 7 so 7 6 sorry section 7 is already what we have completed uh, let's change to section 5 and section 6 these are basically tags only so you have to comma separate them press enter so it will run and fix section 5 and section 6 On screen uh, the changed are the things which were incorrect and uh, this particular ansible role have fixed those yeah, that's good it's going and it is fixing the things friends I'm just sharing my personal experience you can see uh, how quickly we can fix the things and again uh, uh, that's a role only it code definitions as per CIS uh, document if you want to modify something let's say you, you don't want to stick with CIS recommendation due to XYZ reason then you can update this playbook the definitions to include uh, your custom value and you can run this playbook so I'm not sh saying uh, like follow this document 100% even uh, that's uh, industry security professionals recommended but go with your enterprise standards so you can update uh, this playbook but only thing as I said this is a licensed one uh, just uh, follow the license condition for this one if you see this uh, recap is finished it changed uh, 37 items out of 49 items and zero failed so uh, you can see uh, how efficient uh, this particular ansible role for CIS is if you want to run it completely just uh, uh, do like this and press enter it will fix everything so uh, that's very easy friends and that is for only uh, Red Hat 6 and CentOS 6 for CentOS 7 or Red Hat 7 uh, just follow the git page uh, for Ansible and uh, you can check uh, git page of uh, Major Hidden and uh, and personally I want to thank him again for this wonderful work if you have any suggestion or you want any update uh, you want major head in to help you you can uh, send him email on his email ID and on Google just search uh, major head in if you want uh, to appreciate him for this good work
thanks a lot friends for watching this video and uh, stay tuned to my youtube channel for future updates thank you friends bye